Hello, welcome to my channel and today in this video I'm going to teach you how to make this beautiful designer blouse so uh, to make this blouse I just took a uh, silk cotton and I have marked my shoulder armhole and the depth of my neckline so my depth of the neckline from the shoulder is going to be like 9 inches so you can increase the depth as you like so now let me draw the neckline so from the shoulder you're going to draw like a pot shape so it's going to come a little bit inside and you can see till that 9 inches it's going to have a nice and neat curve okay so it's going to come like such okay so further this is going to have like a 1 to 2 inch of uh, patchwork over here so I'm just drawing that line so again it's going to connect to the bottom like such so uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a border of my sleeves and I'm going to attach that to my back side of my blouse. It can be the border of the sleeves or it can be the border that you have to take from the sari. So now the length of this is like 9 inches. So I need a 9 to 10 inch of border like this. So I just took a 10 inch of sari and I have cut the sari like this. And I'm taking the border and I'm attaching the border exactly on this part. Okay. So uh, again you're going to give the sari piece over here. So if you want you can do like this or else if you have the sari blouse you can attach the border over this point and this sari is basically like a green color and I got the blouse in a very light mustard shade and, and also it's an old sari. Hope everyone will have a beautiful patrasari of a mother but it would be really old. You can't wear the blouse also. In that case you can buy a raw silk like this and you can design your own blouse for that. Okay. So make sure that you don't cut the exact 10 inch off of the sari. Measure your size, body size. Wear the sari once and check how much of the sari is excess. After pleating that at the front and you can cut out a little bit out of that so that uh, you can do some patchwork out of that border. Okay. So in my Tamil video I made a clear description how to cut the sari little bit out. So you can check that also. So what I did here is I'm just placing the neckline on my uh, lining fabric like this. And I'm just sewing the silk cotton on top of this. So if you're designing this for your patasari or a silk saris like this. Uh, don't forget to buy a silk cotton fabric which just looks really uh, like a silk. And it just goes really nice with that sari. Okay. So I'm sewing the lining like such and I'm just going to cut out the excess fabric inside like such. So very easy and very simple to make. Even beginners can try this. Very easy to make this kind of design. And I'm just giving some notches all around the neckline. Okay. And you have to turn the main fabric in like this. Okay. So the pretty side of the main fabric will be popping out and make sure that you press that nice and neat before taking that to the sewing machine. Okay. So one, I'm just pressing that and you can see this how it's going to look. And now let me work on with the border piece. So this is the fabric what we cut out from the neckline. Place that on the border and make sure that it should have a seam allowance all around. And to the outer side it should have 1 inch and to the inner side of the neckline it should have a marginal amount of seam allowance. So that we are going to attach the lining and also we are going to give piping for the neckline. So leaving some elements and I'm just cutting out the same like this. And to this part I'm just going to give a green color fabric. This is going to be the center point of the neckline, the down part. So I'm just taking the green color, uh, same silk cotton fabric and I'm just going leaving some marginal amount of uh, fabric downside so that I can attach my blouse. Okay, and to the top side, I'm just giving a marginal amount 
for giving a turn to the neckline okay and now so just place the border piece over a lining and you're going to sew that like such okay you're going to sew all the way round like this and cut out the excess lining and uh, I'm going to give a piping for this to finish off this border Okay. and I'll be doing the same for the next side also to make this a piping I'm just using a bias strip a cross piece and I have folded this bias in half and I'm going to put a straight stretch like such and I'll be attaching that to my border okay. so little by little I'm sewing it like this and I'll be attaching this to my border end okay. so you're going to cut out the excess fabric and uh, you'll be attaching this to the pretty side and this is going to give you a nice thread effect so you can see this how I'm going to attach that so if you have a piping and you can give up rope piping also if you don't have a rope piping you can follow this step for sure it's going to give an illusion like a rope and you can see this how it's going to look once it's done and add some notches on the turn and i'm going to turn this bias strip like such to the wrong side and i'll be putting a top stitch like this And now my border piece is ready same I'm going to do to my next side of the border and now once it's done you're going to sew the same like uh, what you did for the border just place the lining underneath and you're going to sew uh, this center piece all around like such and you're going to cut out the excess lining fabric and I'll be attaching the same piping like effect using the bias strip so for the mustard color I'm using a green color fabric as a piping and for the green color fabric I have using the mustard color uh, fabric as a piping okay so once it's done just turn the fabric to the wrong side and you're going to put a top stretch like this So now this much of fabric would be visible while keeping the uh, neckline on top. So I have just drawn the lines. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a small piece of bias fabric on top of that. And I'm going to sew the lines on. Okay, The lines that you see right now is the only place where my neckline is visible so uh, when I place my blouse on top of it so that you can see exactly what I'm trying to say right now okay so I just made a very thin strip of a bias lace like this so in my uh, video I have showed you how to make the strips So same I'm doing to the next side also. So if you don't have a bias strips like this, you can use any kind of lace to give this effect. Okay. So little by little, uh, I'm going to sew and I'm finishing this bias strip like such. Okay. And this is totally optional. If you want, you can give this effect, or else you can uh, you can just always eliminate this kind of effects. You can give some patchwork also at the center of this design. Okay. So you can use any kind of thin lace also to give this beautiful effect. Okay. So make sure you give a thin lace and. I'm just sewing like such 
okay so now let me show you where i'm going to place this piece so this piece is going to come at the exact center of the blouse like such so the down part of the design okay it's going to come like this okay and the border piece is going to come on the either side of the blouse So after placing the center piece, you're going to place the border. So make sure that you place the border like such. And you have to be very careful in measuring the shoulders. Now the shoulder has been divided into two. So make sure that it's in the exact position. I just want my shoulder like 2.5 inches. And uh, I'm just rechecking that it's been in the 2.5 inches. And I'll be pinning that in place so that I don't want that to move from its place. And this is how you're going to assemble the design. And before taking that to the sewing machine, make sure you pin that everything in place and then you're going to sew that on top. Okay, so same I'm going to do to my next side. Place the border piece like this and pin that like such. And now I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and let me show you how to sew everything together. Okay, so make sure that. Uh, you pin the patchwork also which is very important so all you're going to do is you're going to put a straight stretch from the top all around the neckline like such to finish off the stretching of this beautiful designer blouse and if you want more designer blouse like this don't forget to subscribe my channel and also don't forget to hit on the thumbs up button below so that I will come to know that you are looking for these kind of designer blouse so that I can upload a more designer blouse like this. Okay, now I'm going to finish off this. So uh, at the end, I'll be giving some edging lace to finish off this design. And you can see I'm just adding some lace to give a beautiful effect to the blouse. Okay. So it is a totally optional if you want it can give these kind of edging lace and uh, I think this gives a very beautiful look so I'm just giving this edging lace like this so this is how it's going to look okay and now it's going to end and this is the end result of the blouse and you can see how beautiful it is very simple and very easy to make where even beginners can easily do this uh, designer blouse and hope you like this video if you like this video and if you want more videos like this don't forget to subscribe my channel and also don't forget to hit on the thumbs up button below see you next time till then take care bye bye